Hey guys, so I want to talk about the third person view in Navisworks and how to use it and a few options you have. So up here on the viewpoint tab, you can come over here to realism, press that button which is on the navigate panel, come down here and you can click third person. You also have that option over here on the navigation panel or navigation bar. You can see the walk tool and you can press on that. You have some also some quick keys you can do. So, quick to, if I click the walk, I can, I'm going to get them somewhere close to the model. Now I'm going to turn on collision. I'm going to do it from here so it doesn't keep dropping. Turn on collision and gravity. Now the first move I do should drop them onto the ground. And then now you can see while walking around, it kind of follows it. Stairs as well. You can go up them. Now, if you come up to elements you can't get through, a, a quick thing to do if you don't want to turn on collision and turn it back on and off, you can select that item. So this is actually a, also a cool tip. You can see here I'm selecting the entire level. So what it's doing is it's drilling it down into the first element that 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 is that this panel is associated with. So that's the entire level two. It skips the f the actual file, and it goes into the first element, which is right here. And we can actually fix that or resolve it if we don't want to do that by doing this and saying the last object or last unique. So now if I get out of that, I can select that. I can select the panel. I'm going to drill down into that and change it to last unique. So now I can grab that, do a control H or I've done a control Z or I can right click it and do a hide. And now I can walk in the model. So um, to show you real quick the crouch portion of it if it's low enough, he'll just kind of climb over stuff. But to show you the crouch part of it, I'll grab this table. I'll come up here to items, tools. I'll do a move. I'll raise that. I'm going to hide these chairs in case they give me some problems. I'm going to come back over here to walk. I'm going to do escape to get out of that so it doesn't, so we don't see that little gizmo thing. Come in there, and you can see he he squats. He kind of has little different phases and stuff, or you know, different points that he squats. He comes up to it, gets that real low, and kind of goes under it. One cool thing is, is if you do get into this, I can do it. If I grab this with the select button. and then try to move him. He will actually turn red and then stand straight up. It's kind of saying that you're kind of in a collision right now and it gives you free roam to get out of that collision. So as soon as you step out of this, you kind of lose the ability to fly through elements. So that's really nice for for when you um, somehow get stuck, maybe you fall off something, whatever the case is, then you have an option to quickly get out of it without messing with different collision stuff. So. Another thing real quick is if we come, uh, if right here, if we right click, we can, here, I want to avoid selecting anything. Okay. When I come over here real quick, you can see this too. When you're in, when you start zooming in and out and stuff, and you're in this mode, it will turn off all these so you don't have them anymore. So that's kind of nice to know. But if I right click out here and come to viewpoints, I can edit viewpoints. Let me see. Yeah. Yeah, we could do that as well by right-clicking elements, so apologize for that. But if we right-click anywhere, 
it doesn't matter if we're in an element we can come down here to to viewpoints and then we have some options if we come down here to edit current viewpoint we can see that there's a settings for collisions and we've got different things like radius height eye offset so if you want to change all that stuff we have third person enable auto zoom and this is kinda cool we have a a construction worker and we can do different ones so if I want to do the dummy we also have angle so kinda where he is and then the distance from from your perspective and where he stands press OK and now we've got a little dummy we can walk around I'll we'll get back into the walking tool and we can see collision comes back on and then now we've got a little guy do be aware of coming out here stepping off into space because you will fall um, it kind of stops you where you're at but it, when you're trying to move around and kind of see where you're, 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 you're at you'll actually be progressively falling so if I show you it stops but if I start like trying to you know turn around so I can get a view of the building and kind of see where I'm at it, it progressively falls one thing is is we can get back into this and then turn it back on or we can press control Z and get us back to where we need to be so those are some options for you there's some other cool things in there too um, such as humans some office ladies and then some some office guys so you can play around with it whatever you need you can kinda get that in there there's also some options to actually change those defaults and but you would have to get into some of the uh, the subfolders within Navisworks and actually add some elements and it's a bit of a hassle so if it's if these don't work for you that's definitely an option but these should cover most of the, um, the work cases that you would need it and outside of that I, I don't think there's a lot of other elements that you would need to see flying around through here so I hope this helps do let me know if it doesn't or if you need any more extra information um, I really appreciate you watching thanks a lot